Hey there, farmers. Welcome to the last episode of the Beginner's Guide series. If you're new here, I'm Nix, and today we're going over mods, where to find them, how to download them, and how to find them in-game once you have them. Let's get started. Farming Simulator 22 has an in-game mod hub that makes finding and installing mods easy. From the main menu, you just come down here to downloadable content. This will open the mod hub, where you can browse through a variety of mods directly within the game. You can explore mods by category. You also have these different menus along the left side, which let you see mods you've downloaded, what needs to be updated, and even has sections like latest and recommended mods. Let's say we want to add a new piece of equipment. We'll go into the small tractors. If you click on the mod you're interested in, you can either hit details down here at the bottom or you can double click it and it'll open up to give you more information. This will give you details that the mod creator includes about the mod and it gives you screenshots so you can get an idea of what the mod will look like in game. Once you're happy with it, click install and the mod will automatically download and install it into your game. Once the download is complete, you'll see the mod in the installed menu. You can then activate it in your game settings before starting or loading a game. You can find and use these mods in the shop menu under mods and DLCs. The other way you can get mods is to find them on the web. One of the best places to start is the official Farming Simulator website. Just head over to farming-simulator.com and click on the mods section. Here you can browse through a variety of mods. Under categories, they're categorized much like they are in the Mod Hub in-game. Another great site is fs22.com. This site has a massive collection of mods created by the community. Remember to always check the ratings and read the comments to ensure the mod is trustworthy. Once you've found a mod you like, click on it to see more details and download it. Make sure you download mods from reputable sources to avoid any malware. Categories for this are along the side. We look up a different mod and we'll click on it. Let's download this crane. To download it, you click on this file name down here and that'll open a download menu for it. You can either download it to your regular downloads or you can navigate to documents, my games, farming simulator 22, and mods. If there's not a file named mods, you can add one into this folder, your Farming Simulator 22 folder. Then just hit save. And now it's in your game, just like any other mod that you would get off the in-game mod hub. Let's jump in the game and see how to use them. Okay, start up Farming Simulator 22 and select your save. We'll go to any random save here. First thing it'll bring up is your mods slash DLC page. Just double click the mods you want to use for this game. The active mods will have a check mark in the little box. Then hit start and load into your game. Once you're in your game, if you go into the shop menu, you'll see a new category called mods and DLCs. Here you'll find all the mods you've installed. You can purchase and use them just like any other in-game items. You can also find downloaded mods in the normal shop category they belong to. The mods will be at the end of the list, separated alphabetically by the mod title. Not necessarily by the name of the piece of equipment, but the name of the mod pack that it's from. Mods that add a building will be in the build menu they belong in, just like normal buildings. They will also be at the end of the list of mods in alphabetical order based on the mod pack. Mods that change the fundamental gameplay usually tell you within the description of the mod where to find their features, if there are any active menus for you to interact with, or will add a new page in the main in-game menu like this enhanced loan system menu. Otherwise, they'll simply change the gameplay in whichever way they're supposed to. Now that you know how to find and install mods, I thought I'd share a few of my personal favorite gameplay mods that really enhance the quality of life experience of the game. Let's take a look. 
First up's the extended straw crops. This mod adds harvestable straw to canola, corn, sorghum, soybean, and sunflowers. You'll never have to plant wheat again just to get straw. Next is the course play mod. This is a must have for anyone looking to automate their farm operations. You can create and save complex courses for your vehicles to follow, allowing them to handle tasks like plowing, seeding, and harvesting on their own. It can be complicated to learn how to use it, but it is incredibly useful for managing your farm and frees you up to focus on other aspects of your farm. Another favorite is the Guidance Steering Mod. This allows you to add a GPS to your vehicles. It costs $15,000 to add it to a vehicle, but it helps you maintain a perfectly straight line when you're plowing, sowing, or harvesting. It's perfect for those who have trouble keeping their tractor straight. You can set your heading and let the GPS guide your tractor, making your work more aesthetically pleasing and avoiding missing small bits between rows. Do you want to buy a piece of equipment but can't afford the price outright? With this mod, Lease to Own, when you lease from the store, all the money you spend on the lease vehicle works to reduce the overall price of the equipment. So when you go to buy that same piece of equipment you're leasing, you end up only paying the difference between the cost of the equipment and the amount of money you've already spent on the lease. The Paint and Terraform Anywhere mod is a great mod for those who want to be able to terraform right up to the buildings and objects on the map. It even lets you terraform land you don't own. This is the Real Mower mod. With this one you can mow down bushes and weeds, which is my favorite part about it. It also lets you mow grass anywhere on the map. You can turn it on or off for the current vehicle you're in, which comes in handy when mowing on the border of your land. Hide Owned Productions is a simple mod. When you're looking through the current prices for something you want to sell, it hides productions you own from the list. Simple, but useful. The Store Deliveries mod allows you to place a new location for items you buy from the store to spawn. This lets you spawn vehicles and supplies at your farm or in the field. Also, it's really useful when you're borrowing equipment for contracts. You just go to the contract field before you accept it, place down the store marker, then hit borrow equipment and all the equipment for the contract spawns at the field you need it for. 10 out of 10, absolute time saver. The trailer axle blocker lets you lock the front axle on trailers so they don't rotate side to side when you're backing up. It makes it incredibly easier to reverse that kind of trailer. Just make sure you disengage it after you reverse because driving with the axle blocked doesn't work very well. The enhanced loan system allows you to set a maximum loan duration and interest amount. Then when you take a loan, which you can do all at once instead of $5,000 at a time, it takes monthly payments automatically, whereas the base game loan system only takes interest and you have to make payments manually. It also calculates the maximum allowable loan you can take based on the vehicles, fields, and cash you own and any outstanding loans you may have. It's much more realistic than the base game system. And that's it for today's tutorials. We covered how to find mods both on the web and through the in-game mod hub, and how to install and use them, as well as going over some of my favorite mods. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Farming Simulator content. If you have any questions or need further assistance, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and happy farming!